Hello and thank you for joining me today. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to apply an underglaze and a glaze to something that has already been fired one time. So once a cup is made or whatever object it is, it, it starts out as a raw clay and then it dries and then it's fired and then that turns into bisque which is usually a light color like this. It's, um, it's a lot like glass. If you drop it, it will break. Um, but what's nice about this phase is that you can apply glazes to it and under glazes and fire it again and get the design that you want. So everything gets fired in the end at least twice. But what you'll be doing is you'll be applying an under glaze, which this is an under glaze and if you look closely here, it says under glaze. These can be mixed um, outside of the container, you know, in your own little um, mixing bowl, just something small. These are all food safe, but I would advise not not eating while you're while you're doing it because I think it's food safe once it's fired, once it's all the way done. Not in this stage, so definitely want to wash your hands a lot, but. The underglaze is designed to uh, work much like a painting medium. So you paint it on there and you do two or three coats so that you get nice vibrant color. You let that completely dry in between each coat and then you apply the clear glaze, okay? This doesn't look clear, but once it fires, it will be clear and I may be sending a different type of glaze for you to use, but you'll know it's the right kind because <laughs> I'm only sending clear glaze to go over the colored underglaze. That's very important that you put the underglaze under and then the glaze over the underglaze. So that should be clear as mud, right? So before you get started, you want to make sure you have a few skinny brushes that are in pretty good shape and of course, once you're all done, you want to make sure you wash everything properly. And um, usually what I do is after they're washed, and you can use a little bit of dish soap or you can just use water. Just make sure you just kind of do this to the bristles to get the water out, uh, reshape it, and then you just let it dry. You, you don't want to let the glaze or the underglaze dry on there because eventually you know, that, that could create a problem. So. Um, you always want to have a little bit of water in case you know something happens. It's always good to have you know a paper towel or two nearby, and of course a sponge to you know sponge off any mistakes and make sure you do it really really well, or they will appear later because things that don't show up when you're doing the bisque will show up when you fire it. And that's just the way it goes because all the color come, you know is is becomes more vibrant. Um, the other thing that you'll need, since you'll be freehanding the design, is a pencil. You know, it doesn't have to be mechanical, but I like the skinny lines on that, it works. And you just, just kind of sketch in your design and nothing has to be perfect because, you know, it's something that, that you're putting together. And basically, you'll be coloring inside the lines with the underglaze.